We are back in the land of the living. That was it for deep roads. I think all we got now is probably... Just to go back to the royal quarters and... They'll probably give me some good prizes. Talk to Haramond a bit and the Shapebrit. I think we've got quite a few things in there. Have you seen my... I'm, I'm only asking because... Right. I'm gonna pick up some gifts here. Hopefully our inventory is gonna be okay, but if not, we'll go back to Soldier's Peak. Do you have gifts? Actually, do you? Golden mirror, golden amulet, gemmed bracelet. Seems like stuff that Morgan would like, huh? Jewelry. I think that might be it. You want some of this stuff? He... Oh, this one seems really good. We should probably keep it. I don't have it in me to um, check right now, though. Hmm. Flawless versus clear. Clear is worse. Alright. Oh, I was gonna give that one to Sten, I think. Or, um, Ogryn. Ogryn could use one of those swords. I'll deal with it after I go back. Royal Quarters. We have to assassinate somebody, too. I need to set an audience with the new king. He'll understand that my bad knees exempt me from fighting, right? Yeah, sure. The Idukans had their turn. It's good to see another house take the throne. It's a little bit sad to see the line fall like that, though. At last we have a king again. I trust that King Haramont will do what is best for Orzammar. Atrasvala. News of the hour. All hail King Pyral Haramont. The worthiest dwarf has ascended. The most worthiest of them all. Very... Haramont? House Haramont will not forget you. You better not. You are always welcome on these estates, Warden. This is bigger than I remember it, this place. You will always be welcome here. Oh, this is his bedroom, right? Oh, yes, I forgot about this. Anything. This is the least you could do for me, Haramond. Thank you. Dwarven heavy armor, it's just random armor. It's not even good armor or customized armor. My husband owes you his throne. You are always welcome here. Thank you for having faith in House Haramont. Hey, the merchant was saying that Haramont probably takes money from the state and buys you diamonds with it. What do you have to say to that, lady? Is it true? Did I make a mistake? Butler. You are always welcome at House Haramont, Warden. Is Haramont here? You have done more for us than I ever imagined. I apologize for doubting you. You are always welcome on these estates, Warden. No, I guess he's permanently at the assembly location now. That's fine. I wish we could talk a little bit more afterwards, just to chill out. But I'm ready to get out of Orzammar ASAP. <laughs> After this, I completely forgot about it, but we still have the Return to Ostagar DLC too. I think I'll do that one first. So Haramount managed to snatch the throne after all. And I hear we have you to thank. Snatch? You make it sound very negative. I will not allow the warriors that serve my house leave to defend the surface. Why should our strong dwarven men die for these humans? And that wife of Haramont's? She doesn't deserve to be queen. I've even seen her wearing the same dress twice. Shameless. Right away. Thank you for your contribution to my funds. You talk too much. <laughs> you gave me some random crap, probably. Long live King Haramont. It's not... It's At this point, it's way more important that they actually have a king, as opposed to not having a king. Because everything is stuck. As long as they don't have one, they can't do anything. So here we are again. We haven't seen that ambassador. Would the ambassador live in the royal palace? Oh, royal estate. We have to kill an ambassador for somebody. Hey, Vartag! What's up? You want to attack me? Oh! <laughs> OK. 
Okay. Balin will never give up the throne. Guards, attack. your thing then. Goodbye. There's no talking with any of these people. It's just straight to uh, business. As you wish. Overpower. Oh, there's too many people just clumped up again. I will not allow it. Call weakling. I will put you out of your misery. Sten. Sorry, I was not looking enough. It is then. I need to put him... his Berserker. He doesn't have Berserker skills yet. But we need to, like, give him new tactics to account for it later on. It shall be as you say. Royal Guards? You guys should be serving Haramont now! Okay, I guess we're just casually murdering people here. They don't mind. When we first came in, some... was it like one of Balin's men? He got murdered anyway. Oh, someone's here. Royal bedroom. Yes. Yeah, this area was off limits to us because Balin wouldn't see me. Whoa, 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 what's going Oh, the wall is freaking out. You don't want to attack me? There's no evidence or anything in here. It's just the royal bedroom. Maybe because Balin's gone now? Even the chest doesn't work. Okay. Uh, keep guarding, I guess. Wouldn't Haramont move into this room now? I feel like they should. Oh, how come the... Oh, Prince Balin's bedroom. How come the map's not filling out? Well, I'm so turned around, where am I? Letter. A letter from Rika to Prince Balin. My dearest Prince Balin, you are too kind to me. I am a small and insignificant thing, and I do not deserve your attention. But your willingness to tolerate my presence shows you to be a prince among men. I cannot thank you enough for the beautiful necklace you presented to me. I will cherish it always, and I promise I will wear it at our next meeting. I know my gratitude means nothing to you, but I must say again, thank you. I will always be your humble and devoted servant. Is this the one servant that they were saying that Balin wanted to marry? A castless? Actually, servant. Servant cast. Mm, we don't really know too much about Balin overall. Maybe his love for this girl was genuine. I wouldn't know. Hey, there's somebody here. Who is that? As you say. Oh, ambassador! They auto attacked me anyway. Quick. Uh, uh, oh, beautiful. So we can just get the assassination in straight away. Sure. Yes. Uh, Liliana. Okay, she's over there. She's fine. I'm stunned. I'm stunned. Shall be done. Stan is stunned. Because he doesn't have Indomitable. As you say. Stan's... Uh, Wind's hit rate is not that high, is it? Some situations might be better for her to hang back and use a staff again. She still has a staff. Yeah, it's here. But we gotta... Keep people healed up. Sten has no stamina. Yeah, that wasn't gonna get anybody. And the archers are getting us from a distance. I could just use wind like this, I guess. She's... Heavily armored, but has a staff. Or are there better things that we should be doing with Wynn? Okay, Ambassador. 
as you say. Yeah, chase him away. Liliana, do we have time for the bear? Take his breath. Let's go, guys. Come Liliana. And get it. On my way. I will. I must. Get him. Get him. So be it. Oh, Stan! Come on. All we gotta do is stop him first. You performed as I expected. Yes. I killed the ambassador. I can go back and... I didn't even get the reward for the other one yet. Because we haven't been back to Denerim in so long. What did you have? Didn't even want to talk. What if we helped Balin, but then... Can we still kill this guy? You need me? Well, thank you very much. Book. I shall. Trion's journal. Oh, is this Trion's room? 21 Ferentis. Notice Gorum running around trying to get pieces of my sibling's ceremonial armor ready for the feast. <laughs> Who writes like this? My sibling. Stopped him and asked him how preparations were going. He mentioned that one of the bracers had a spot of tarnish on it. Was quite impressed at his dedication. He is most loyal to our family. Two days later? Was on the way to discuss the treaty with father when he came across a messenger waiting in the hall. On being asked why he was loitering about the royal palace, he mumbled something about having a gift for the new commander. And asked me, begged almost, to pass along some object or another to my sibling. Me? The heir to the throne of Orzammar does not run errands for a messenger. Must have been new on the job, had him thrown out, however, still reeling from the gall of it. <sighs> get over yourself. Learn later that Balin had told Messenger the quickest way to get things to our sibling was through me, and had made him wait until I came by. So unseemly for a Prince of Orzammar to play such tricks. He needs to grow up and understand that, as royalty, he has responsibilities. <laughs> Did he do that just to piss you off? One day later? Found Balin's little... playmate, again, lurking about the quarters outside his bedroom this morning. Must have been trying to steal something, or already had. Bosom seemed fuller than most decent ladies. Some jewels hidden in the bodice? Anyway, pretended to not see her. Would have been awkward otherwise. Wish Balin would keep her confined to his room, if he must have her around. Little brother is too concerned with fun and pleasure, and not serious enough about his duties as prince. Must talk to him about discipline when have time. Unfortunately... Much too busy with the many tasks father has laid upon my shoulders. Two days later. Remember to send small token of gratitude to Jalia Helmy. Lord Helmy? Lord Helmy's wife? Alliance between Helmy and Iduken must be kept strong. Lady Jalia will of course accept proposal of marriage, since we'll be king sooner or later. Why does he write like this? He writes without pronouns all the time, it's really pissing me off. But never hurts to be polite to keep the lady happy. Hear that there are some surfacers selling silks. Maybe we'll send second out for something nice. Jaylia's favorite color, turquoise. Two days later. Heard about there being provings held in our siblings' honor. They did not have provings for me at my first commission, and I'm the heir. What is going on? Must go wash these provings, make presents felt. Orzammar must not forget that I am to be her next king. This guy, no offense, man, but this sibling sounded kind of annoying already just from reading this. <laughs> the pronouns thing really bothered me. Some people write like that, I really... Oh, makes it annoying to read. <laughs> Balin... Royal bedroom... Wait, royal bedroom is where we came from. What about this room? What the hell is that? What? Who the hell are these people? Hi? Are you sick? Please be quiet. My patient needs a rest. Fools and their politics. The poison was probably imported as a king killer, and she got dosed by mistake. I've never seen anything this potent. You can't cure it? It's a very strange toxin. I know there's a counter. 
But the ingredients are so rare, it, it just doesn't matter. If you can chase these things down, I'll thank you. But I won't get my hopes up. The stone will take her soon. Wow, random quest here. Dwarven Regicide Antidote. A recipe. Dwarven Regicide Antidote. Elf Root, Lifestone. Oh no, I don't have Elf Root. Oh my gosh, that used to be so common too. I'm sorry, I'll be back. <laughs> Any luck, Warden? She doesn't have much time. Uh, I'm sure you're doing your best. There's nothing I can do but wait. It's all but inevitable. Elf Root. Brazilian Ruins? Oh man, the... Ah, we gotta come back to Orzammar again after all. Does anybody sell elf root here? I'll have to look around at the shops. Oh man, no. Balin's house is so much bigger. There's more stuff to look at here, as opposed to Haramont's. Now, is Haramont here? King Endrin can rest in peace now. Long live King Haramont. Oh, yeah. Thank you for having faith in House Haramont. Hi, can I budge? I will not forget who won me this throne. You're welcome, I think. Gre greetings. Okay. Well, cool. Atrasvala. Yeah, I think last time we were here, we might have missed the opportunity to do it. The throne had a message, right? Like, we could use it, just like the Legion of the Dead Relic thingy. And I was looking at the quest-related notes. A rolled-up note? Nope. What was it? It was like, um... Caged in stone. So this was the description that we got here. So I feel like there might have been something small here. But I'm not sure if we can do it anymore because the throne, it's, it's not usable anymore. Hmm. Well, I suppose that's fine. Oh, sorry, I have a bear here. Is that all right? Uh, what did you say again to me? I will not forget who won me this You are throne. always welcome on these estates, warrior. Okay, have fun then. Have fun. And we've been here... We've been here, we got attacked last time, we killed some people, this guy's still standing here. Thanks again, Warden. <laughs> Your news is outdated. Elf Root, I need Elf Root. Who has Elf Root? Shape Brit. I have like 20 million things to do back there. Paramount will be a good king. Uh, do we need to go to the ASM? We could. Oh, <laughs> they just closed the door right in front of me. Oh, it's... Yeah, okay, that's fine. The assembly is in recess until King Haramont can address them. Yeah, I won't disturb you. You guys have a lot to do. I can imagine all the stuff that's been waiting for somebody to do. Just because you guys have been waiting for a king for so damn long. Shape it. First of all, first of all, lady, I found your house records. I, I started to worry. I didn't know if you were ever coming back. Did you find any records? Any sign of the old Orton Taig? I have the records right here. You, you found them? Let me see. That's my great grandmother's name and her husband. Oh, great ancestors! It's them! It's me! I am an Orton! Oh, thank you! I have to take these to the assembly right away! Find me there! Once these are acknowledged, I'll give you any reward! Any? Don't be so sure in saying that. You don't know what bad people might ask for. Are you gonna change your name to Orta Orton then? <laughs> it's like John Johnson. At least someone is willing to stand up for tradition. Thank you again. Impressive work, Warden. King Haramont's impending coronation has been entered into the memories. 
Is there something more I can help you with? I have some tracings you might be interested in. What's this? A list of names. Most of these clans no longer even exist. Is this authentic? If it is, now that would be quite extraordinary indeed. I would love to make a copy of this. The Shaperit has never had much information on Keridan and his golems, much less proof of this magnitude. Warden, I hope this artifact from our archives will suffice as a reward. I must inform the Shaperit at once. You're gonna give me an artifact? As a gift? That might be a little bit too much. Oh. Okay, well, thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Well, good. I'm glad you're happy. Are you looking for records of the Grey Wardens? We have many. Is this it? Oh, the dead cast insignia has been entered into the memories. The Legion of the Dead may eventually be considered a caste or house of its own. By virtue of honored ancestry and great personal sacrifice on the part of its last descendant, the joining of House Farold and the Legion of the Dead is recognized as worthy of investigation by the memories. If the lineage proves intact and sufficient, relations of the Legion of the Dead may be acknowledged as minor nobility, albeit with restrictions. This minor house will now undergo the generational process of admittance into the memories. May honor come to its descendants. Hmm. Probably us interfering with Orzammar has caused more shifts in the castes and uh, what's considered a house more than anything in recent memory. We got the Orton house and this... Yes, of course. What's this? Shaperit's blessing. It's a... It's a mace. I thought it was a staff or something. You have walked the path of the Shaperit and documented the stone. The blessing of the Shaperit is yours to wield in the carving of a new path. One for tomorrow's Shaper to follow. Okay. Is that it then? I feel like we've been in Orzammar for so long, we practically live here. Oh, go back to the assembly. Does anybody sell any elf fruit here by any chance? Excuse me, I can't chat. Not even to the, the Grey Warden who gave you a king? Okay. Well, now we have one more person to worry about, the, the lady. We gotta do our best to save her. Assembly? Watch her give me, like, 20 silver. And have that be considered as any reward. I've been hoping you'd return to Orzammar. Oh, I have so much to tell you. The other houses repaid their debts to my house, and I had enough money to send an expedition into our old Taig. We found so many things. I kept some for you. I said I'd repay you, didn't I? I'm surprised you found anything, since I looted the place dry. <laughs> I'm glad things turned out well for you. I could never fully repay what you've done for me, but this is a start, I hope. Walk well, and may fortune always smile on you, Grey Warden. Ten Sovereign! Okay, I'll take it. Not bad. Ten Sovereign. Cool! Oh, we have one more for Orzammar. Oh, that's, that's insane! We're actually gonna go back to Denarim. We're gonna do the lands meet. We did all the treaties. Can you believe this? I. <laughs> I feel like we started this entire game in Orzammar, and we've been in Orzammar the whole time. Like, it's overwritten my memories of everything that came before it. That's how long we've been here. Long live King Haramont. If I'm being honest, I feel like every single dungeon in this game, if it was cut in half. News of the hour. Is what more need be said? If it was cut in half, I wouldn't mind. At last we have a king again. I trust that King Haramont will do what is best for Orzammar. He'll try. He'll certainly try. And that's, I feel like, what the most anybody could ask for. I don't suppose you have... Elf root. I, I, I'm, I'm... I don't think so. I don't think so. Ugh, okay. I'll, you know what, I'll look at this back when we're in the camp or something. I got your gifts already, right, earlier? I, I'm right, best. I did. Okay, so last thing is maybe I'll just walk around and make sure that I get all the gifts and all that. 
Prince Balin was cheated of his birthright. I'll do it. Yeah, sure. T don't even know what I got from you. Igor's imports. Stone preserve King Haramount. I'm. Do you have any elf root? Kind of doubt anybody here has elf root. Elf root. Oh, perfect. Okay, four, right? Let's see. <gasps> Requires master herbalism. Oh, well, that's why I have Morgan, right? Hold up. Does Morgan have master herbalism? She might only have expert. Oh no, shoot. What? I got the stuff, but I still can't do it? Is that really what's happening here? Indeed. I don't know if I do or not. Oops. Oh no! Oh, I'm so upset. Wait, wait, Morgan has a level up. Morgan has a level up. Hey! <laughs> okay, that's all I care about for now. Woo! We don't have to come back to Orzammar again! Yay! <laughs> oh. Okay, we got it, we got it. Dwarven Regicide Antidote. Let's go. I'm back! Oh. As the antidote passes her lips, the patient visibly relaxes. She will live. She'll be up and around in no time, thanks to you. Oh, that was... <laughs> she's just snoring now. Okay, well, I'm... I'm... Whoa, she's snoring while being propped up to... <laughs> Is that it then? Oh! Oh my god, the entire Orzammar heading disappeared! Wow. Well... I'm glad. I'm glad to see you're happy. Did that even give me a reward? Maybe not. Who was she, anyway? Lady Broden's... Someone royal? I'm not sure related to who. Well, they probably appreciate us saving her all the same, so that's... fine. Okay then, I think we are... just about ready to get out of Orzammar for real this time, and like... a... go away and never come back kind of way. Except one more thing. One last thing. It shall be done. We should probably tell Dagna's dad she left. You again? Here to buy something, or were you just thinking of wrecking another part of my shop? Yeah... You should know, Dagna left for the Circle Tower. What? Do you even know what you've done? She's castless now. She can never marry, never work, and, and never be a part of this family again. Why the fuss? I am sure the Circle Tower is full of parental figures just waiting to tell her what is best. My daughter is dead to me now. Leave my store. You're not welcome here. Seriously? Get out of here! You're bad luck you are. Oh, wow. Good thing I went around and I got all the gifts from everybody already. We have a, like a million now. I don't think this guy had any anyway. But... I'm not sure if I should have told him that then, because he seems pretty damn upset about it. Yeah, all this stuff here, we have a whole bunch. Okay. I do believe that is our very last thing in Orzammar then. Let's get out of here. For good. Thank you, Orzammar, for having me. But it's time I must get going. Stop that. <laughs> Stop what? That, looking at me and giggling. <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> You're so big and stoic. Who would have thought you'd be a big softy? Stop saying that. I am a soldier of the Beresad. I am not a softy. <laughs> softy. I hate humans. Stan, hey, when are you gonna make some cookies for the rest of us? Fair journeys, Warden. Fair journeys. Goodbye, Orzammar. May we never cross paths again. With you two. Long live King Haramont! Oh, All right. Let's get back to camp first. I don't think we have to reorganize too much. There was much. a riot in High Ever last night. I spoke to a merchant who just came from there. Oh, no. I heard there was another in Guaren. Folks are angry, that's for sure. 
I'm angry. What the Regent's done, that just isn't right. You can't go treating Ferelden lords like lackeys. Maybe so. Should talk about it after the Darkspawn are done. Maybe the Regent isn't the only one who can do something about the Darkspawn. You ever think of that? The Grey Wardens might be able to do something. However, am I... Am I allowed to care about where I came from? As a Grey Warden, I can't take any more titles and whatever, but am I allowed to, like, remember that stuff? I mean, I can't not remember it. <laughs> so hearing stuff about High Ever having riots is kind of painful for me. Let's go to Soldier's Peak so we can drop off the gifts. We don't have to give all of it at once. Shoot, man, the Blight- oh no, the Blight went all the way up here now, too. That's really not good. Ban Lauren's lands. I think we'll do that one soon. Yeah, let's let's go to Soldier's Peak to begin with. Am I that lucky? Wow, it's like they ran out of events for me or something. Inventory management time. Guys, I come bearing gifts and I want you to talk to me because I haven't talked to any of you actually for a long time. Hey? Troy wags his tail and looks at Sten. Yes, it is good to have my sword at my side again. I call her Asala, the soul, my soul. She is forged from rare blue steel and has served me faithfully for many years. Yes. You understand what it is like to have a weapon that is part of you. Few others do. Sten, he's... I gave him a different thing. A battle axe, but I have the Asala as a backup thingy. Not like he's ever gonna use it, but hey. It's like, he actually has it around him, right? Hello? Troy, I brought you a gift. I know you don't really care because you love me unconditionally. But I got you... A... I got everybody something, I think. Hopefully enough for everybody. Oxbone! Yay! That did a lot! <laughs> Zevran! I've a question, if I may. Go ahead. Well, here's the thing. I swore an oath to serve you, yes? And I understand the quest you're on, and this is all very fine and well. My question pertains to what you intend to do with me once this business is over with, as a point of curiosity. Release you from my contract? <laughs> mm. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm a changed woman, okay? I don't, I don't go around looking around at other people anymore. Does your oath expire then? Not precisely. I said I would serve you until you saw fit to release me. One simply assumes that... Once your Grey Warden business is finished, you would have no need of an assassin to follow you about. Am I wrong? Mm. I... I don't want to coerce people into being my friend. <laughs> Not at all. You could go if you wanted. Could I? And what if I didn't wish to leave? Oh, well, I could always use a friend. Oh, not more than friends? You're being very rude to Liliana right now, who's right across from you in the campfire. Well, we'll have to see, won't we? Indeed we shall. <laughs> it is good to know what my options might be, but that is for another time. For now, we have much to do, yes? Zevran, I got you... I got you your leather gloves from like 20 million years ago. You mentioned it, right? Thalish gloves. Gloves? You're giving me gloves? What for? They're Dalish gloves, like your mother's. I... Maker's breath. You're right. It is like my mother's. The leather was less thick and it had more embroidery, but these are very close and quite handsome. Well, you're welcome. Do I seem surprised? Perhaps I am. Still, I appreciate the fact that you even thought of me. No one has simply given me a gift before. Thank you. 
I gave you boots before. Well, you're welcome. There's a first time for everything. Now can we actually talk? Mm hmm. Can you answer some questions? All right, but I get to stare at you luridly no. while you... What about personal mm -hmm. questions? Oh, this should be good. What would you like to discuss? What is this? Oh my god. What? I am so sorry, Liliana. I said... Wait, all I said was we'll see. That led to this? Really? <laughs> you must have quite a history with women, I mean. This could be a sensitive topic, my dear lady. Are you sure you wish to voyage there? It's okay, you mean nothing to me. <laughs> that many, I take it? As you wish. Let me start by saying that my history is varied, indeed. It has also not been restricted to women. Does that offend you? No. Should it? Perhaps. That is entirely up to you. I grew up amongst whores, my dear. Sex is best when done well, and truly, that is my only rule. Do I prefer women? Yes, yes, I believe I do. But you must understand that a certain open-mindedness is sought by the crows in their recruits, for very good reasons. That's... I view that favorably. Only sits deal in absolutes. Hmm. But I'm curious, what reasons are those? I have had to do many things in my work as an assassin, some pleasant and many not so. The Crows recruit elven assassins because we are considered beautiful by humans. Oh, I'm wow. sure you can imagine the rest. I cannot change my past, obviously. I regret far more than the men and women I have been with, and if that is more than you can bear, well, then it is good we know now, yes? I'm just asking as a friend, okay? I'm not... Please don't take this the wrong way. You sound like you've been through a lot. Ah, it's just old scars and nothing more which you see. Ignore them as I do, and perhaps they'll go away. Ah, enough talk of the past. It is what lies ahead that is important, no? Yeah, yeah, you're right. Although that is a little bit sad to hear. Whoa, we have so many people just following our camp now? Damn. Uh, Liliana! Well, aren't you sweet and attentive? Listen. Listen, okay? Whatever you overheard with Zevran, it's not real. But we don't have to go to bed. <laughs> of course. Hmm. Do you have any new tales, Liliana? Alright. It is my job to spin yarns after all. I don't think so. Which one? Yeah, I thought of it just now, but it slipped my mind. It will come to you soon, I'm sure. Oh, never mind. Okay, well, Liliana. Remember last time we talked about Nugs? Well, you know what? You know what? Hmm? Wait, what? The Nugs nose twitches as it stares at the world with clear, inquisitive eyes. It seems to enjoy being stroked. Wait, what? I, I can't give this! Do I have to be back in Orzammar? That would suck. Oh, no, no, I'm trying to get it. <laughs> I'm trying to give it to myself, no wonder. Here we go. Oh, it's one of those subterranean bunny pigs. Oh, look at him. Ew. Come here, you. <laughs> I can't believe... Uh, <clears throat> he's pretty cute. Have fun. Thank you so much. You've made my day. Oh, fantastic. But you, <laughs> you already love me anyway. I also have a few Andraste things for you, which also does not affect anything, but I need you to clear out the inventory crap. We have so many more gifts back in the inventory. I'm just trying to give some here and there. Golden symbol of Andraste. Oh, how dear of you. Thank you so much. You are very welcome. Okay, uh, there's a few people I know will love the gifts I give. I don't have one for Wynn because I don't have a book. That book that we found in Orzammar might be the closest thing. Alistair! Ask away. Of course. Okay. Alistair! I got you some action figurines or something. Action figurines... Uh, Alley King's Flagon? No. No, no, no. Oh no, I didn't- No, you like runestones, right? I don't think I have a figurine here, actually. Is that for me? Oh. Really? Wow! I'm- t Wow! Hopefully, Alistair is feeling a little bit better about everything now. 
We can just give the gifts here. I don't have to walk around. Sten, here's a painting of the Rebel Queen for you. Unexpected. Thank you. A hundred. And then Morgan. Morgan, we talked about your locket a long, long time ago, right? I had this sitting in the chest, the storage chest. A fine gift. You no. have my thanks. Would you like another one? Gemmed bracelet? Are these all? Like, she likes jewelry stuff. What have you there? A mirror? It is... Just the same as the mirror which Flemeth smashed on the ground so long ago. It is incredible that you found one so like it. I am uncertain what to say. You must wish something in return, certainly. Don't be ridiculous. It's a gift, Morgan. You say that as if I should be accustomed to such a thing. I have never received a gift. Not one which did not come at a price. I suppose I should say thank you for the gift. Tis most thoughtful. Truly. It wasn't a locket. It was a... It was a mirror. Golden... Oh, 20! 20! Damn, she loved that! Whoa! 98! Damn! Guess I can hold off on the gem bracelet for now. <laughs> Who else? What else can I give? Oh, Ogren? Ogren, let's talk to him a little bit more first. Stan, how are you? What is your wish, Kadan? I am hardly surprised. No, 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 no. no. Very well. As you wish. Shale, I've got something for you as well, if you have anything new to talk about. Shale of House Kadash. Is that who I once was? I find this difficult to believe. You think the name's a coincidence? If I was this shale of House Kadash, as Karadin said, there must be some evidence of my existence remaining. I must find it. Hmm. You think something will trigger your memory? I need to know that this is the truth, and not simply believe. What Karadin said, it has allowed me to remember one thing. I believe I know where Kadash Taig is. Are you telling me we have to go back to Orzammar? <laughs> we can go there if you like. Its offer is appreciated. I will mark the location on its map. If we can journey there soon, I am most curious as to what we will find. But it's in Orzammar, right? Okay, Shale. Golem's memories. Traveling the deep roads. Okay. <laughs> I guess we gotta go back after all. It's okay, we'll do it for Shale. I'll do it for you. But Shale likes pretty things. Shale likes sparkly things. Which means, Shale, do you like this remarkable sapphire that's the same color as your spirit crystals? Ooh, shiny. Mm, you do love it. Good, good. Oh, this is a straight upgrade. Fantastic. All right. Who haven't I talked to yet? Win Mor Morgan. Morgan is a. Uh, do you want to join us now? I mean, we've known each other for a while now. You can come join us. It is a curious thing. I do not know how else to describe it. <laughs> what is something wrong? No, nothing is wrong. It is a little embarrassing to admit. In fact, I am reminded of our first meeting in the wilds. I had been in animal form for some time, watching your progress. I was intrigued to see such a formidable woman, obviously more potent than the men she traveled with. <laughs> Yet I resented it when Flemeth assigned me to travel with you. I assumed that at best you would drive me from your company as soon as we left the wilds. Poor Morrigan grew up not really having any friends. The only person she ever saw was Flemeth, who she later found out was trying to basically, you know, fan her up so that she could become someone that Flemeth could steal the body off of later. Why would I do that? I am aware that I have little talent for forming friendships, to put it lightly. It is something I know nothing of, nor ever thought I needed. Yet when I discovered Flemeth's plans, you did not abandon me. 
whatever your reasons, you fought what must have been a terrible battle without hope of real reward. I did it because I'm your friend. And that is what I do not understand. Of all the things I could have imagined would have resulted when Flemeth told me to go with you, the very last would have been that I would find in you a friend, perhaps even a sister. Oh my I wanted God. to know that while I may not always prove worthy of your friendship, I will always value it. But enough of such idle talk. There are more useful things to be done, surely. Oh my God, Morgan, sis! She called me her sister, basically. I bet that's only plus two because we already reached the max. We don't know what the true value is, but it could have been like a plus 20 just now. Oh, Morgan! Finally! Finally, I'm glad you're happy. Do you realize that you've been smiling for hours now? <laughs> How did they know? How did they know? <laughs> mm, have I? Since the last time you and that oh. girl shot glances at each other, in fact. No! I cannot imagine what you begin to see in her. I hope at least the dalliance is worthwhile. No, I'm smiling because of our sisterhood more again, not because of Liliana, although I do think Liliana and you... You need someone like Liliana who will drag you out to do stuff because you're very like, eh, and then Liliana will just make you do stuff. Immediately getting back to the, <laughs> the thing again. Ooh, are you jealous? I don't think she is. I happen to love her, you know? Hmm, more's the pity for you then. Tis a bit sickening to watch you two, but I imagine it at least takes your mind from our situation. Have it your way. Wow! We can't ever be happy with her for more than 30 seconds. <laughs> she might be jealous, not from like, um... Not from like the typical romantic perspective that you might be inclined to think about, but from the human connection perspective. Because I imagine she would find it very difficult to form that kind of relation with anybody. What comes, my friend? Oh my god, I'm your friend? So, full of questions, are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What comes, my friend? We are in camp, so tis as good a time as any. No. Okay, well, Morgan, I guess good things just don't last very long. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. It's not, not a big deal. I know you love me anyway. You and your friends are formidable folk, indeed. It's good to have you along on the road. Have you heard any rumors? With a defeat at Ostagar, it'll be inevitable that the Darkspawn hordes start moving north soon. They have no one standing in their way, do they? That's what I've heard on the road, anyhow. Take it for what it is. I think we're well past that point. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the good... Get you take the crystal, thank you very much. I still have a set of... Wait. Dalish gloves, are these for Zevran? Why... Why is it here? I still have the set for Win. I don't know if I should get rid of it. It doesn't take up too much space, so I'm kind of okay with it. I didn't use a tome yet, by the way. Should probably do that. On who? On Morrigan? On Win? Let's give it to... Um, I feel comfortable enough with Morrigan for now, so I'll give it to Win. Because there's a lot of uncertainty surrounding whatever is going on with Wynn, with the Arcane Warrior. Can I not use it here? We gotta use it elsewhere? Okay! Where is Ogryn? Ogryn. Hey. There you are. Wanted to talk to you. What about? You and I, we've... You know how sometimes you spend time with... People and things. Hmm. Take your time. What is it? I was thinking. Uh, I do know some people out here on the surface. A person, actually. A girl I knew in Orzammar. No. Before I left, obviously. No, no. A girl you knew or a girl you knew? What? Oh, you mean were we rutting? <laughs> oh, I. After Bronca left for the deep roads. Name's Felsey. She was a fiery one. I'm sure she's forgiven me by now. Thought maybe I'd track her down, see how she's been living. I thought you loved Bronca a lot. I, I guess less than I thought. <laughs> Wait, you cheated on Bronca? 
I mean, not that Bronca was any better, but I... Because the, the whole drunk thing made me think you were so one-track-minded and all that, but not actually. <laughs> Wait, you cheated on Bronca? Me? Cheat? Ah! That iron-thighed shrew had left me long before. And she'd cheated on me with that tramp Hespeth. I grant you, I didn't find out about that till after, but... Hey, truth is truth. You anyway, <laughs> she left for the surface a year back, and I haven't seen her since. Why did she leave? What? Why are you asking me? I didn't do anything. Last I heard, she was gonna live with her mother on the surface near some lake. <sighs> Clean, bad lake, was it? <laughs> yeah, I saw it. I don't remember. Uh, clean bad? You mean Lake Callanhad? We can go there. No, no, I think it was clean bad. I remember because I thought, yeah, that's right. Dirty good, clean bad. <laughs> yeah. But thanks for offering to take us there. You're a good friend, Warden. No, uh, what was it you wanted to say? Uh, I'd like to know more about you. What about? Oh, on second thought, never mind. All right. Okay. Hi. All right then. Argren, would you like a? I know you love the alcohol. I've got a whole bunch for you. Alley King's flagon. Mm-hmm. Argren. By my ancestors, this is a wonderful gift. I'm scared I'm pushing this up way too high, way too fast, though. But I've got to get rid of some of this. By my ancestors, this is a wonderful gift! He's easy to guess. Win. What's on your mind? Anything on your mind, Win? I will answer to the best of my ability. I want to give Win something, with the understanding that I don't actually have anything here that's fit for her. I don't think she particularly enjoys a bar of silver, maybe a gem bracelet. I don't think this might be a more of a Morgan thing, really. But I feel bad for not giving you anything, so have a bracelet. Most kind. Oh, jeez. <laughs> she really didn't care about that. Okay, well, I mean, I, I tried my best. I tried my best. Okay, so what's going on? We're, the Dalish gloves? Are those Zeverins? Yo, what the hell? 0 0.5? I'm pretty sure that wasn't that low before. Oh! Wait, what? Was he always wearing the Antiven leather boots? Wait, I'm sorry, but you gotta wear this, okay? You gotta wear the better one. This is better! The reinforced one's better! Did it like... What the... I'm, I'm so confused on what's going on. I feel like you had better boots before. Maybe I'm wrong. Well, whatever, I guess. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Hey, but the plus one was all we needed for the skill. Fantastic. Orzammar has sent her best, Warden. It has been a long time since the Dwarven army has marched on the surface. Do you need anything? Outfitting any army on short notice, there's always room for more gear. Gems would serve the most utility, the middle stones, sapphires, and the like. We're dealing with many smaller foundries, and larger values might overwhelm. Oh shoot, I sold all of them to some shop, basically. Uh, by the end, I'll stuff all of my free stuff in there. But not now. Okay, should we get going then? Hey, where's Shale's thing? Isn't Shale's thing supposed to be here? Oh, it's premium content, because Shale is DLC content. <laughs> Ban Lauren's lands. I think we should do that now. Gather the army. Once we go back to Arl Eamon, it might be pretty close to the end. Do you think if we go back to Denerim now, the um, elven alienage would have opened up? Maybe. Okay. Ban Lauren's lands. Here we go. Oh, you know what? I'm sorry, but we have to read. <laughs> we have to read a little bit, okay? Otherwise, I'll never get through these. Durthamen, Keeper of Secrets. The twins Philanden and Durthamen are the eldest children of Elgarnon, the Allfather, and Mytho, the Protector. 
The brothers were inseparable from the moment of their conception, known for their great love of each other. That is why we often speak of Valandin in one breath and Durthamin the next, for they cannot bear to be apart, not even in our tales. When the world was young, the gods often walked the earth, and Valandin and Durthamin were no exception. Both were delighted by the many wonders of our earth. They played with the animals, whispered to the trees, and bathed in the lakes and streams. Their days were filled with bliss, and they did not know sorrow. And then one day, while passing through the forest, Valandin and Durthamin came across an old and sickly deer resting beneath a tree. Why do you sit so still, little sister? asked Valandin. Play with us, said Durthamin. Alas, spoke the deer, I cannot. I am old, and although I wish to go to my rest, my legs can no longer carry me. Taking pity on the deer, Valandin gathered her up into his arms and carried her to her rest beyond the veil. Durthamin tried to follow them, but the shifting gray paths beyond the veil would not let him. Separated for the first time from Valandin, Durthamin wandered aimlessly till he came across two ravens. You are lost, and soon you will fade, the raven named Fear said to Durthamin. Your brother has abandoned you. He no longer loves you, said the other, named it Deceit. I am not lost, and Valandin has not abandoned me, replied Durthamin. He subdued the ravens and bade them carry him to Valandin. This they did, for they had been defeated and were now bound to Durthamin's service. When Durthamin found Valandin, he found also the deer, who once again was light on her feet, for her spirit was released from her weakened body. Both Valandin and Durthamin rejoiced to see this. Valandin vowed that he would remain to carry all the dead to their place beyond, just as he did the deer. And Durthamin stayed with him, for the twins cannot bear to be apart. The elven mythology, I don't know, it kind of reminds me of like Norse or Greek mythology. Out of all the different stuff that we've seen, I feel like it's, um, it's got this really like mythy aspect to it. The Aenar. When the Imperium occupied the area that is present-day Ferelden, they had two sites dedicated to magical experimentation at the extreme ends of the Imperial Highway. The southern one was the Fortress of Ostagar, which looked out over the Korkari Wilds. The northern one was Anar, although the exact location is now a secret known only to a handful of Templars. Whatever it was that the Vinter were trying to discover at Anar, their work was never completed. The fortress was overrun by disciples of Andraste upon hearing the news of her death. According to legend, it was a massacre, eerily silent, for the invaders caught the mages while all but one of them were in the Fade. The site was left structurally sound, but spiritually damaged. Possibly because of this, the Chantry chose to put it to use as a prison. Accused Maleficarum and apostates are held in the confines of Anar. Those who have a powerful connection to the Fade, and particularly to demons, will inevitably attract something across the veil, making the guilty somewhat easier to tell from the innocent. Wait, those who have a powerful connection to the Fade is being equivocated to being guilty here. Yeah, that's... okay. Fantastic, I guess. The Tranquil. The Tranquil are the least understood, but most visible members of the Circle. Every city of respectable size boasts a Circle of Magi shop, and every one of these shops is run by a Tranquil proprietor. The name is a misnomer, for they are not Tranquil at all. Rather, they are like inanimate objects that speak. If a table wished to sell you an enchanted penknife, it could pass as one of these people. Their eyes are expressionless, their voice is monotone. Incomparable craftsmen they might be, but they are hardly the sort of mages to put ordinary folk at ease. That says a lot already, like that's really inhumane. They're being compared to a table. Brother Genitivi knows so much. He knows everything. Okay. Damn. Okay, how much more do we have? I, I'll i stop here, but... Uh, four more in the culture. Whole bunch more books and songs. We're getting there. Uh, one more, one more. Cautionary Tales for the Adventurous. It was then that he realized he wasn't alone. The abandoned camp in front of him was unbelievably welcoming, like a mirage. The fire felt like a warm hand grabbing his heart. It reminded him of a previous life so long ago when he was happy. Running on the sunflower seeds with his boy, the sun on his face, laying next to the fireplace with his beautiful wife in his arms. He felt a sharp pain in his heart. His thoughts shifted to that fateful day when everything changed. Blood was everywhere. He held the body of his dead wife in his arms. Around him, the ashes of his burnt house fell like snow. The stench was terrible. It smelled like darkspawn. 
He grabbed his axe, touched the icy cold hands of his boy, and left. He would kill them. He would kill them all. The pain in his heart was unbearable. He opened his eyes and saw the second most terrifying thing he would see in his life. A shadowy wraith leaning over him, leeching his life away. Around him, the camp was gone, replaced by something familiar, almost peaceful. Bones, death, and despair. He wondered if all his life had been an illusion, if he'd ever had a family. For a brief moment, he felt relief. You can't lose something you've never had. But being this close to death brought clarity. He knew it was real. Everything else was the illusion. You could see a smile on his torn face. He had been waiting for this moment for a long, long time. He lifted his weak arms, grasped the demon's face, and kissed it. It felt like kissing a cloud made of sand and dust. Suddenly, all sorrow left him, and with it, the last bit of life he had. Before his limp body hit the ground, it was all over. He was finally free. Maybe, what was it again? Is it a desire demon? Was well, some kind of demon for sure, sucking out the life? Like the one, the Templar that was entranced by that one demon we saw? That's kind of sad. Oh boy, lots to learn about the Chantry still. 